Hi Aries, it's Jo from Angels and Ancestors and Lovelies. I want to introduce a new monthly reading because I'm aware that all the other monthly re readings went by the wayside in favour of the What The Fuck reading. Now this reading is um, going to be completely different. This is about you. This is about touching base with your heart and understanding of your heart. Given the climate that we've got at the moment, I just wanted... To do something a little bit um, different but not massively long so I'm hoping that these videos are going to be quite short and sweet and uh, yeah we're going to look at your heart baby so I'm going to call this my heart and um, it's to give you an idea of how your heart is um, kind of fending for itself what what makes it tick that sort of thing so we're going to ask the cards if we can have a right hand card what you give out to the universe from your heart this is for Aries for April what does Aries give out from their heart to the universe I'm sorry about the noise, lovelies. I'm doing an immense amount of um, housework at the moment because I have got 12-hour um, days at the moment. So that's what you give out to the universe. What does Aries take in from the universe? What does Aries receive from the universe? I'm going to take that one. And then what's deep within Aries' heart. Oh, 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 we've got one. Put these up a bit so that the camera is picking this up. And what is blocking... What's deep within Aries' heart? So, my lovelies, what you give out to the universe, Aries, you've got the Sith. Lovelies, for some of you, you give out pure magic. Whether you know it or not, you do. You send out pure magic. But there are times that you doubt yourself and you, you do tend to send some doubt out into the universe but when you're confident when you know that you know what you're doing you send out such beautiful energies fire energies out into that universe and the universe really appreciates it but you have a tendency Aries to let other people whisper in your ear um, and sometimes they add to that beauty but sometimes it's gossip and they take away from it so darlings you know if this is you if 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 you are wondering whether what you say out loud is heard, yes it is, yes it is. And you know how to connect with the universe, my lovelies. You've got it there, you've got everything in your kitchen, in your pantry to make that connection, to put out to the universe for the benefit of others. So Aries, what you take in with your left hand is you take in love, knowledge, wisdom, joy, Everything you see fills your cup up. This is the Ace of Cups. It's a new beginning. This tells me that you like new beginnings. You really do. Um, you see the beauty in absolutely everything. And you see the potential in absolutely everything. And that's what you take in. That's what you absorb from the universe, Aries. How beautiful is that? See, at the moment, my love, is what you're giving out... And what you're taking in, it's not in perfect balance because of some of the doubt 
that you give out but when it's being given back you haven't got that doubt you wholeheartedly accept it because you love it so much and what you need to do is mirror that feeling that you have when you're receiving stuff in that you're giving out that positive thing when you're the most confident and that's where you need to get yourself all the time Aries so lovely deep within your heart you have the knight of a thane is there this knight is a thinker but he's fast he comes in fast he gives you fleeting thoughts um but this is fleeting thoughts of protecting yourself this is fleeting thoughts that maybe you need to cut some things away and let things go um and you, i think you know deep down that that is something that you need to be addressing aries and i kind of get the feeling that that has been the case for some time and with this atmosphere that we've got in the world at the moment where people are coming together and being one i'm kind of getting the feeling that you're getting deep messages that you really do need to cut away the stuff that no longer serves you because this is highlighted for you um messages that you really do need to protect yourself because people are serving their own purpose around you. So lovelies, what is blocking you from dealing with this? What's blocking you from getting rid of what's deep in you? And I'm going to say get rid of what's deep in your heart in this case because I do feel that deep in your heart you know that you need to do this. You've got the two of pentacles. And what it's telling you is at the moment you're juggling, you're trying to please everybody, you're trying to give out those pence to people. You're trying to make home life happy. You're trying to make work life work for you. You're trying to get your pentacles in balance. Darlings, you will come into balance. Once you learn to get into balance, once you've cut all that dead weight away, you'll come into balance naturally. But right now, you are juggling around this situation wholeheartedly. So lovelies, that's your first my heart um and that's all i'm going to call it i'm just going to call it my heart because i just think i want to keep this as simple as possible so lovelies that's your first reading i hope you enjoyed it please like share and subscribe for me pop a message underneath if you like it let me know and um i will try and do this monthly if people are interested take care for now aries bye